Now, for anyone who believes that they don't have this problem or can't develop the disease, get this. Osteoporosis affects 50% of women in this country. But there is good news. There are things you can do to slow the progression or prevent it altogether. And joining us now is exercise specialist Ty Timms. Ty, thanks for joining us. Sure. What exactly is osteoporosis and who's at risk? Uh, osteoporosis literally means porous bones. And it is a, it's a prolonged deficiency in calcium that your body needs to build strong bones. Primarily hitting women, you know, right around 40 is when it starts to progress and on, you know, into the later years, which is important for women to really get a, you know, good, good check by your physician, especially if you're going to start an exercise program. Um, you can get a bone density scan to find out exactly where you are. Now, are there any exercises that can be done to slow the progression, or can we even reverse the effects? Absolutely. Um, there's been a lot of research that has been shown that, that exercise itself, loading uh, the joints, loading the bones, can actually stop the progression of disease and sometimes reverse it with some medications possibly that you have to take. And uh, the big things that you want to do is, like I said, load the structures. And some different exercises, and you can get into anything you know, that you want, but uh, some really good exercises are full body exercises where you're using all your joints, using loaded, these, these are heavy balls, okay, we're going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do here is kind of a squat down, lift up, turn, and press. And this kind of motion right here works every joint in the body, it loads through gravity and uh, can really minimize the effects of osteoporosis. And what do you do with these? Well, another thing that happens as uh, you get older is you lose some of your proprioceptive abilities and some of your balance. And this is a balance disc. This is something I use to really strengthen. You can step on it, come back off of it, like do kind of a lunge, and you can see that you have to really adjust to the, to the instability. So falls are very, very important. It can lead to fractures in the hip, very often in the wrist and in the spine. So this is really an important exercise. Very important, very important. Thank you. You've been very helpful to our viewers. And we look forward to more tips 